Good evening. My name is Henry Schenkweiler, and I am a fifth year student here at the conservatory, studying trombone performance and sociology. I am excited to introduce you to what is one of the great solo pieces written for trombone. Lars Erik Larsson was a Swedish composer who is famously known for his orchestral piece, The Pastoral Suite. Many of his early works are written for full orchestra, but when Larsson arrives to his mid-40s, he writes 12 concertinis for solo instrumentalists accompanied by string orchestra. As part of these 12 concertinis, Larsson decides to showcase the trombone and its versatility through the course of three movements. The first movement begins with a lively introduction from the orchestra, allowing the stage to be set for the trombone and its brilliance in sound. One of my professors here at Bard, Ed Carroll, emphasizes the importance of resonance when playing a brass instrument specifically thinking about a church bell's ability to fill any kind of space. Throughout this movement, Larson writes to capitalize on the trombone's ability to fill the hall with this kind of resonance. After the, be the beginning of the first movement, Larson creates a conversation between the trombone and the orchestra. The conversation has two parts. First, the trombone has what operates as rather technical cadenzas, and second, melodic and almost sighing responses from the orchestra. In the second movement, Larson displays the trombone's sweet side, one that very few are ever lucky enough to hear. One of my favorite qualities of the trombone is its ability to almost recreate the sound of a voice. Getting into the mechanics, because of the slide on the instrument, trombones are, trombonists are able to move very fluidly between notes and capture this kind of singing voice. Larson gives the soloist a beautifully lyrical movement that feels as if it has come from an opera, fittingly titled Aria. Larson brings this piece to a close with a third movement that reminisces on both prior movements. This time, however, the technical passages are much faster, which makes for an incredibly blustery and stormy ending. Now, please enjoy Lars Eric Larsson's Concertini for Trombone, performed by one of the great trombonists of the Metropolitan Opera Orchestra, the Dean of the Juilliard Preparatory Division, as well as my teacher and mentor, Weston Sprott.
Thank you. 